everyone, it's Sonia here from Sonia's Mixed Media here with a review on my most favourite colouring book at the moment. Um, I ordered this a little while ago and I've started a few pages, um, well actually finished a few pages that I'm going to show you uh, today and uh, we're going to have a little flip through of this fantastic colouring book called Doodler's Anonymous Epic Colouring Book. Now this is a fantastic colouring book for those of you who love variety and don't want to follow a particular story. Um, I really love this book because the images are fun, um, they're fantasy, um, they're just they're just really great images um, to enjoy colouring. The paper in this is amazing it's nice and thick and it will take markers easily it will not take uh, copic markers of course uh, like most coloring books but it will take your normal uh, water-based markers it will take acrylic paint and of course your colored pencils now this has uh, this is, has the artwork of 90, I think it's 90 different um, artists that they chose out of a total of 2,500 submissions for this colour book. And they picked the very best uh, 90 artists. And um, it's just their doodled artwork. And some of it is amazing. Like I said, this is my favorite color book at the moment and uh, here we go and I will do a flip through through it you will see probably about five or six finished colored pages that I have done and enjoyed here we go this is the um, first uh, page here um, so at the top or the bottom of each page you will see that they have named the artist who has drawn the images to colour and with each page I try to keep it so you can still see that name because I think it's really important to remember who drew it so maybe you could look them up later and see what else they have done. Uh, this is my first colouring page that I did in this book and as my name suggests, Sonia's Mixed Media, I did use mixed media with this page. I used acrylic paint uh, which was here on the rather large fish. I also used my markers and I also used Prisma colour pencils. I had really fun with it and I love using mixed media in my uh, colouring. I just find it um, just really playful thing to do and you can get different textures and different techniques. Um, yeah, I just find it really fun and I think everyone should give it a go. We'll flip through to the next page. As you can see, I did use a little bit of Copic marker for the girl with her legs and head and hand, and it did bleed through. Um, so that's why I know not to use Copics in this book, even though I did think the paper was going to be thick enough. Obviously, it's not, so that's a warning. Don't use your Copics in this one. So here we have just lots of crazy uh, doodles. Um, so this is the sort of thing you do for a lot of, um, when you just pull out your markers and do a bit of mindless colouring in. Um, these are great pages to do. Here we have more of a, a sort of colour book page that you see uh, more often. This is some sort of... Um, wild dog perhaps or maybe even a donkey <laughs> with the cacti and some cute little uh, houses or shops and as I said they're by all different artists so you're going to get a great variety 
of uh, different images in this book so that's what I like about it it keeps me intrigued and I never get bored with it because every day there's something that I can do in this book depending on what mood I'm in I can just do something like this which is fairly basic just random shapes or I could do something um, more like these cute little fellas here which I could put more effort into with my um, Prisma pencils or my Inktense pencils. Here's a little woodland scene. And here I have uh, completed this page again using um, mixed media. For this one here I used black acrylic paint for the background. I used white um, marker um, can't remember what it's called uh, I'll think of it later but it's just a white um, liquid marker for the little dots and I also used um, a watercolor paint in the yellow gold parts which are called sparkling h2o's and they actually have quite a shiny look to them and the girl is in markers and prisma pencils so again mixed media for that one and as you can see the paper stood up really well to that i did again have a little bit of a bleed through with um the h2o sparkling h2o uh, watercolors but that's because i went over a couple of sections a little bit too much when I saw that that um, bled through here and there, I just took a bit of a lighter hand. Here we have some more. There's a girl there with some more bright images. Here we have this whimsical girl flying with her umbrella in the rain. And this one here, I'm just starting um, at the moment. Um, not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet but I knew that I wanted this to be the main attraction uh, the, the person with the red umbrella and the red coat and that's been done with markers and uh, Prisma pencil and um, with this page because there's so much to it I just plan to do one person and umbrella each time I kind of flip through the book as I'm working on other pages. Again we have a nice city scene here with lots of little houses and streets and windows and a very cute fox character here in clothing where you could write something perhaps that he's saying or thinking and the illustrator's name of course on each page here we have <laughs> lots of uh, different people here which is really cute all with different faces um, and different expressions on their faces and there's this cheeky little ghost type character here that's very cute and a, a city scene with lots of cars and buses and boats and this is one I completed yesterday of a uh, cute little astronaut man and his cute cat and this was the background was already in black and um, this one was uh, done with Prisma pencil and uh, markers did that one in front of the TV last night there we have a beautiful library here something you might see in um, some of the more popular artists um, books and then this guy which is 
a bit unusual but he's got lots of things going on in his brain as well as a pull in his eye. Some botanical type uh, seeds and pods and I really like this picture. It's very cute. I love the uh, vintage style comic type gel and lots of mushrooms. Then we have this double page spread which reminds me of uh, like a playing card. Um, but this is another image that um, I'm really looking forward to doing. And for some reason it reminds me of Christmas time. I'm not sure why, but perhaps he looks a little bit like what a nutcracker would wear. So here we have some cute um, characters in a village type theme. Cars. Uh, this person here, which reminds me of Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> um, very cool there with his tattoos. And um, of course the very popular um, instant um, cameras there. And I love these little characters here. As you can see and here the, the pages are quite thick, like really nice and thick. So as I said, just stay away. If you stay away from Copic markers and if you're going to use watercolour paint, um, just make sure you use a light hand and don't go over it too much. And uh, with the acrylic paint, you never have any worries using acrylic paint as long as you don't make it too watery. Another fantastic image of this girl and all these creatures up in her hair. So another one of those um, house city scenes and this <laughs> rather voluptuous lady here. And this is one I did probably about a week ago. Um, this is just markers and pencil again. Um, and I made this building here. I drew the checkers in to make that kind of pop out as the main image. That was pretty quick um, page to do. Also absolutely love this character here. This one is drawn by Zuzu Glo Glover. Zuzu Glover. But I love this fisherman man here. I can't wait to get that one done. And a pretty girl in her snow globe. characters in this one. I love these sort of pages because you can just do them bit by bit. So every time you're working on another page you could go well I'll just quickly colour in this character here. Again this is very different artwork to a lot of the other styles in the book. more whimsical characters now this one looks quite basic almost like a children's page but if you look up Dee Dee Willingham um, she actually did this page and it turned out really good it looks much better coloured than it does um, uncolored. You probably find that with a lot of coloring books that it amazes you how good they look once they are actually colored. The lines in this book are mostly pretty thick. There's no real 
um, lines where they're so faint that you can hardly see where you've got to go. So I really like that about it. Vintage typewriter there. We could do an acrylic uh, background with that one. So some really unusual images as well. Like I said, there's something for every day depending on what mood you are. So I'm not always in the mood to um, colour in um, flowers. Flowers is something that I have to be in the mood for and plants. Um, also, um, a lot of these kind of small intricate pieces and zentangle type things, I really have to be in the mood for those. So if I'm not, you know, in the mood for that thing, you know, something like that, I can al always do this double spread here which is pretty amazing or I might be in the mood for something more like this so I just really wish there was actually more um, colouring books like this which had a range of different um, artists in them I know there's a lot of generic um, books that do do that but often the images are kind of boring. They're mainly just a lot of patterns and flowers. Whereas this one has actually um, had, you know, it actually had artists who love their drawing um, participate in making this book. Love the snail with the city. I love this style of houses. Another one that Dee Dee Willingham um, did on her channel. I just got some uh, Derwent Inktense pencils today and uh, they came in the post and I can't wait to use them in this book. This one I worked on um, last night. I still want to do the background which I'll probably do an acrylic wash for that but um, these are all different uh, suitcases and bags and just in various different blues um, these are all done with either polychromos um, prisma or markers uh, the markers I use are called tombos and um, they also come with a uh, blending marker as well which really helps and um, yeah, Tombos are my favourite markers. Another great character is this one here. I just think he is very, very cute. can add something to the background of this um, don't be afraid to experiment you could add flowers or a garden behind him a sky uh, you could even draw a castle or something if you're into um, drawing as well and really make the image your own this is another one I completed um, this one here was acrylic for the hair and markers and pencils for the rest and the names are actual actually I don't know if you can see but it's Thelma and Louise <laughs> Really whimsical design this one with octopus 
arms and skulls and fish, even a panda coming out of the water there. And then this says cats love hats and uh, they actually want you to create your own hat on this cat and then colour it in. Sneaker. And that is the very last page. This is the back cover. And here we have all the illustration credits on the back. And so that there was Doodler's Anonymous Epic Colouring Book, illustrations by 90 artists. And it says an extraordinary mashup of doodles and drawings begging to be filled in with colour. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, please give a thumbs up. Uh, I'd love to hear from you in a comment and please subscribe. Have a great day and I will catch up with you soon. Bye.